Hello everyone, welcome back. So, here I am sitting in my amazing, beautiful Tesla. I really love this car. And uh, I've been really closely monitoring the uh, Australian EV sort of landscape recently. And uh, I, guess, I guess the question I'm trying to answer today is, should Australians on the whole jump into electric vehicles today? Is it time to hit the button on these vehicles? The actual short answer is no. Or if you want to listen to the long answer, then please stay tuned. So it's uh, February 2024 and the Australian car market is looking very interesting at the moment. We have more and more electric vehicles available. Um, petrol vehicles are still um, doing really, really well, of course. And the amount of Corollas, Rangers, Toyotas, Toyota RAVs, etc., that you see on the road are definitely not reducing. You, the ICE vehicles, uh, vehicles that are run by petrol and diesel, they are definitely still uh, way, way in demand. So here are three reasons why I personally think it's just not, not, not just quite the time to jump in yet. Reason one is that they are still very, very expensive. No matter what anyone says, electric vehicles are still very expensive. The amount of car, the type of car that you get for uh, just above, I think $34,000, I think is the cheapest EV at the moment in Australia, you're not getting a lot. To jump into anything of any significance, any sort of nicer EV, you are going to be looking at that $60,000, $70,000 still. And that is definitely not competitive with what you can buy at the moment in terms of petrol cars. So there's that, it is still super expensive. Number two, EV infrastructure in Australia is still not that great. I mean, we can all see that there's more Tesla superchargers, there's more, uh, BP, is, BP is putting in heaps of charges at their, at their uh, petrol stations. Yeah, there is more and more. However, we're still not quite at the stage where I would say that we are at, uh, we're sort of ready ready for an influx of like you know thousands upon thousands of new EVs. People need to really see the charging infrastructure in place. Even though, um, if you know if you do any sort of research or if you speak to someone who owns a electric car like me, I've only ever used a supercharger on long trips. So I've owned this car for you know, almost almost two years now, and I just do not need to go to a supercharger. I don't need to go to any chargers. I have a charger at home and I have zero need to go to, 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 to any chargers at all. I have gone to a couple just for fun and I've used superchargers on long trips a couple of times. Once down to the Gold Coast, when we were driving around, like sort of uh, doing small trips on the Gold Coast, I had just run out a little bit. I probably didn't need to do it, but I did it. Uh, and um, the other time was up at going to Toowoomba. This is it from Brisbane, from the north side of Brisbane to these places. So to drive into to, to Toowoomba, I, I have a video of that on, on another channel. Um, but yeah, I don't really think the infrastructure is just ready for those sort of, um, I guess, people that are worried about range anxiety or I guess maybe even the speed of the charges uh, and how much how, how much juice you can put into a car. I'll share with you a little short story. So I went down to the Gold Coast. I wanted to charge up at like, I think it was a Charge Fox, just one of the local ones. So I didn't want to pay supercharger prices and the supercharger was a little bit further away from where we were staying. And the charger, there was two, yep, there was, I think two um, charging slots in that particular charger and they were both taken and it was kind of like oh i'm not gonna wait now you know there was a lot of niceties with the other people that were there but the reality is it shouldn't have to be like that so yeah charging is not quite ready yet so i, I did end up going to a supercharger across the other side of town and uh wow it was so fast i have never seen this sorts of numbers before 1100 and something kilometers per hour Wow, that is fast. <laughs> but um, yeah, look, that uh, I never ever use superchargers. But like I said, with a, with a little bit more infrastructure coming, it's gonna be okay, but not just yet. I, I'd say maybe another three years before we sort of have enough chargers sitting around for people to feel comfortable in buying a uh, EV. And the third and final reason why here in Australia in particular, it, it, 
probably not ready to buy an EV is that we are in love with our utes. We're in love with our, you know, trucks or whatever you want to call them. Electric vehicles are, at this stage are just, they're just not for towing. They're not for towing, they're not for carrying heavy capacity, heavy loads. They are just, they're not those workhorses like, you know, a Triton or a Hilux or a Ranger or anything of those sorts of, you know, utes that we have here. They, they, they're just not on par with that at all. The range just drops massively as soon as you start cutting around heavy things. I mean, like, I can't see myself going on a trip in, like, for example, a Cybertruck or that Rivian. I don't, like, I don't see myself having enough juice to go across to like Fraser Island as an example, Gagari, and just to, to, to do work over there in terms of like four-wheel driving and just having fun and stuff like that, driving through heavy 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 uh, sand, and then having enough to come back. I don't, you know, and then where, where are you gonna charge? All right, everybody, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Just thought I'd share my thoughts. And uh, look, I hope you got something out of this video. And uh, look, if you've got any questions for me, I own a Tesla Model 3 Performance. Um, I love this car. Yeah, I don't think I, I'll ever buy another car again, really. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm that in love with it. It just, it just makes sense for me. If you've got any questions about that, please write below. Uh, if you agree or disagree with me, please write below. I'm happy to discuss it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Help support the channel. Slowly climbing our way up the subscribers and the views and stuff. And uh, yeah, if, um, if you could share this channel, that'll be awesome also. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.